I'm Fluffy Burnett. I just watched Star Wars Phantom Menace. First of all, George Lucas does not know how to dress his ladies. Honey, the Queen's hair was like this guy I saw one time at the gay bar after midnight. His hair looked like a rabid raccoon attacked his toupee, but hey, you work it girl. And something else, that blue flying buck thing. If he ever expects to get any play he need to start brushing his teeth dog. And what was the desert planet anyway? It looked like a third world country. Even my broke mama couldn't dress herself better than that. Then there was Jar Jar. That guy was annoying. All he ever did was talk 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 talk. He was like the freaking damsel in distress. He acted like the stereotypical woman. That's why I go for guys anyway. The emperor of Jar Jar's people was annoying too. And then he'd flap his big fat lips together and drool all over himself. Have some class, honey. Anakin was supposedly the chosen one to balance the force. Maybe he came along to save them all from their fashion crisis. And Queen Amidala probably only wanted a body double so she didn't have to wear those dresses. This movie looked like Wizard of Oz with aliens. The people are basically running around and there's a brainless one, a heartless one, and the one with no guts. There could have at least been a nicely dressed one. Dorothy's dress was fabulous. Anakin has no father. So what is he, Jesus? Not to mention the force that chose him. I watched this movie for the outrageous fashion, not for a religious education. You know what? I'm going to personally call these people up and take them to the mall. This is just disrespectful to all of the normal clothes wearing community.